Just imagine having your telephone ringing off the hook with calls from all over the United States at all hours from people you don't even know. That is the situation being faced by a couple who are victims of a phone scam. But in this case, the motive seems to be nothing more than revenge. CTV's Mike Cameron with their story. Keep track of all our numbers. Sandy and Art Baxter got a call last week from a fraud artist looking for computer information. 10.17 in the morning. And Art was talking to them and he said, I'm sorry, I don't have any windows. We don't have a computer. Click, he hung right up. But then the trouble started. And the next call that came in was from um, Pennsylvania at 10.38. That's not even, what, 20 minutes? She called the phone company's fraud department. And when I got a hold of her, she said, if you hang up on them too many times or get nasty with them, they will do it for revenge. And then they will use your number 20 or 30 times to call 20 or 30 different people. The Baxters got more than a dozen calls from all over the United States from people who were simply returning their phone call, which was planted by the scammers. How could they get my telephone number from Kalima to oh. show up on your phone in Nebraska? Seems the unsolicited calls that the Baxters have been receiving are not that unusual. The experts call it spoofing, and it's designed to bring phone harassment to a whole new level. And really, there's not a whole lot you can do once someone starts spoofing your number. David Shipley of UNB's IT Services says it's unfortunate, but consumers have to be careful not to offend some of the fraudsters. And if you're engaged by um, telemarketing scammers, um, people impersonating services like CRA or Microsoft, do not engage in uh, adversarial conversations with them. As tempting as it may be to give them a piece of your mind, remember that they can do a lot to ruin your day. Some callers even accused the Baxters of being swindlers. I had to convince them that I wasn't the one doing this, that they used my number, they called me. The Baxters haven't received any more calls today, but... And she said this could start all over again in a couple months. The options are few for anyone who is getting some of these revenge calls that the uh, fraud artists have set up. Ultimately, consumers have the right to change their home phone number, but that's a, that's a huge inconvenience that I guess most people would want to avoid, if at all possible. Steve? It's quite a conundrum. Mike, thank you. CW's Mike Cameron it is. from the St. John Newsroom for us tonight.